this season on Motorcycle Experience, Aliki's been exploring the various paths to getting you into motorcycling. She's kicked off this journey by looking at traditional routes such as the standard Ministry of Transport approved rider training course. Then last week, Aliki came up with an interesting alternative to getting your feet wet, or in this case, muddy, dirt riding. That's right, how about signing up for a beginner's course at the Ontario Off-Road Adventure Facility? Here, you don't even need a learner's permit or a helmet in order to kickstart your lifelong two-wheeled hobby. While sampling the total beginner's course at this facility, located about an hour east of Toronto in the Ganaraska Forest, Aliki, who herself has been riding on the street for over 13 years, also learned that dirt riding is a great way to improve your street riding skills. In fact, Chief Instructor Steve Waycamp believes everyone should throw a little mud before hitting the street. So Steve, how long have you been doing this? I've been doing this for 16 years now. It's, uh, it's been a lot of fun and we've hosted around 40,000 customers so far and that's an average of about 3,000 or so every year. Um, and uh, we, we try to make things uh, as safe for the customers as we possibly can. We're always developing new ways to do that and uh, we want to make sure that they're having fun as well. So we're, um, we're developing new things all the time just to make sure that they're having a fun, safe time and, and uh, always revamping what we've got and uh, kind of progressively getting our system and our day a little bit tighter, a little bit more professional, a little bit you know, better for the customers all the time. It's been good. Excellent. So what kind of courses does Trails Tours offer? Well, we have a beginner course and we have a, a novice course, big intermediate course and an advanced course. Uh, we normally have the groups broken up into about uh, six different levels. Uh, so there might be a few groups in between that too. And uh, the curriculum is based upon their rider level. So if anybody's riding above their limit and they feel that they're you know, kind of pushing the limits, then we, we just make sure that uh, we set them into a group that's suitable for them, that they're not riding too, too fast, not too aggressively, that they're riding just comfortable for them. And if they're bored with their day, then we got to move them up a group and make sure that they're getting some entertainment out of the day and, and enjoying the time that they have with us. It's just about customer service, giving the customers what they want and keeping them safe and, and having a good time. What kind of customer do you get in? Do you get a lot of people who have street riding experience or do you get a lot of people who've never seen two wheels or been on two wheels before? You know, it, it changes every year. It's really weird. A, a few years ago, we used to have um, only 40% beginners coming here. Now, this year, we've had 82% of the customers have been beginner riders. Wow. And uh, that's kind of new for us, but it's, it's been a great transition. We don't know why that took place, but uh, it's great. And then we have a lot of street bike riders that come out and they want to learn how to ride a street bike better so they use the dirt bike as a tool to make that happen and if you can ride a dirt bike well then a street bike would be just all that more easy and if you can get used to the rear end shifting on you and moving and losing control and having some movement underneath you um, on the dirt then if it does happen on the street if you're to have a little patch of dirt or sand on the ground on the asphalt you'll be able to handle it with ease and you'll know instantly what to do about it and it'll be a muscle memory kind of a thing you won't have to panic you just do what you need to do and you're through it and you're okay at the end of it so yeah it's a really good tool to learn how to ride a street bike better fantastic great job Aliki